Hi everyone, I had a couple of questions on my last video, I think it was, it was either my last one or the one before, um, about my pencil case and I thought, do you know what, I will just film a little video about it and show you what I've got inside. So a little bit of um, information, this is just my planning pencil case. It just has the things in it that I need to plan every day. I have a separate pencil case that has art materials in. I used to combine them into two, but on the whole, I don't tend to do um, art stuff out of the house so much anymore. So, you know, I can't go and sit in a coffee shop at the moment. So um, I basically, I downsize so that I'm just carrying this little guy back and forth with me. Um, and it just has everything in it that I need to plan. So let me just grab a ruler so that I can give you some dimensions. So this pencil case is the um, Galen Leather Triangle Extra Large pencil case, I think they call it. And I've got it in the natural leather, um, which I'm hoping you can see like some of like the scarring and the stretch marks and things on this leather. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it measures... 19 and a bit centimeters it sort of sticks out a little bit in the in this bit here so then it comes to like 22 at its widest point um <clears throat> and it is really sturdy it's made of quite thick leather it's quite reinforced and then it's got a really strong ykk zip um which i feel is really durable i'm really happy with um and it is how many centimeters it's like six centimeters um, across here. The thing that I like about this pencil case is that it opens really wide so um, because it's triangular you can actually open it really wide. It doesn't stay open really wide but I know that over time it will, it will sort of like, it'll as it sort of softens up and flexes a bit more it will open super wide. Like already it's staying open wider than it was a minute ago. So like I said, in here I just have bits for planning. Um, so this is mainly like pens that I use to write with, pens that are for using on certain materials, and then like highlighters and stuff like that. So let's um, hop in and get the, the biggest question that I get about this pencil case out of the way straight away. So a lot of you um, ask, and the, the question that I mentioned asked about Tombows, because it looks like it fits Tombows in. Um, it does fit Tombows in. My only um, note about it fitting Tombows is it does not fit an unlimited amount of Tombows. So because it is triangular and because it sort of gets shorter the further up it comes, um, it only fits Tombows at its widest point. So basically I've had a couple of situations where I forced it shut with Tombows further up and then I've been I've struggled to get it open again and I sort of have to you have to like reach your finger in and push the pen further away so that you can get the zip around the Tombow. So that's the only thing. It does require a little bit of arranging with Tombows. Like I have to shove them to the bottom of the pencil case. But it does fit Tombows and I have four in here at the moment. I always carry a few in here and then I also always have one on my planner. At the moment I've got a green on my planner and then in here I have 992, this one's rubbed off but it's a pale yellow, 772 and 9, oh no that's 912, 992, 912. Um, so I just have those in there. So um, the other things that I have in here for highlighters are I have a couple of mild liners. Um, I have the brush type ones in here because I just find that I prefer a brush tip um, and it also has the smaller point on as well. So I just have a blue and a red um, to complement the Tombow colours that I've got there. So getting into um, other pens, I have, um, I have two Tombow... Um, mono Fudenosuke pens. So these are the pens that have the sort of squishy tip or the harder tip for um, script writing. So they're great for lettering. I have both the hard and the soft tip in here um, just so that I've got both for depending how I want to write that day. Um, I just keep those in there. The next pen I have is this Pilot Ultrafine 
it's called a super color marker and it's basically it's a permanent pen um, and I use this for writing on vinyl stickers or on transparent sticky notes um, I will say it is a slightly thicker line than most people might like to use um, but because I'm only using it on those sticky notes I don't mind the next pen I have in here this is a um, uni jet stream pen but it has um three colors i actually when i bought this i meant to get the one that had got black red and a pencil and i ordered the wrong one and it was coming from i ordered it from um japan on amazon so i um i accidentally got the wrong one the one that you get on jet pens has got a pencil in it and i really liked the idea of having the pencil but the one I've got has got black, red and blue in it instead. Um, and I just, I like the Uni Jetstream. It was, um, Lindsay uses this on her Hobonichi because Uni Jetstream is the paper, is the pen that comes with a Hobonichi. And um, I thought I'd get it to try out. So next in here, I have my fountain pens. I only have two with me at the moment. I have my, oh, I can't remember how you say it. Um, but this is a this is a Japanese celluloid pen. Um, it's tortoiseshell. Um, it's kind of like a limited pen. They don't make it. In, they don't make this one anymore. And I bought this um, earlier this year. To um, I bought it basically with um, some inheritance money that I got from my grandma passing away because I wanted something that would remind me of her that I would use every day. So. And in here I have Robert Oster's Honeybee ink, which um, complements the barrel really nicely. And then the next fountain pen that I have in here is my Kaweco. Ooh, I've got Tipex on it. Um, this is my Kaweco Brass Sport. This is like a really rugged, um, hard during, it's a weighty pen. Um, so this one just, it can endure everything. And this in this one I have Diamine Ancient Copper. <clears throat> and then the last couple of pens I have are these ones. So first I have a Kaweco Sport. This is the frosted in, I think it's called coconut. And in here I actually keep a Parker gel refill. Um, it, it doesn't go as fine as I like. The, their fine is 0.55. I prefer a little bit smaller, but... Um, it means that I can use these pens and still have gel ink. I'm not much of a rollerball fan, that's why I've only got that one Uni Jetstream rollerball in here. I'm more of a gel fan. Then I have a Muji pen, like I feel like this is like the classic um, planner girl pen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just I have it in 0 0.5 and it's just there as a backup really. And then I have my two Kaweco special pens. These again are brass, so they're weighty. Um, and this one is a mechanical pencil and it's the only pencil that I carry with me in this pencil case and then this one has another Parker gel refill in it it uses the same refill as the um, Kaweco Sport so I've just got a Parker refill in that one and then the other bits and bobs that I've got in here I have a ruler and um, people ask me where I get this from all the time and I think I ordered it from like Etsy or AliExpress or something. It wasn't very expensive. It was like a pound, um, but it is really pretty. So I like to carry that one with me. No good if you're um, Imperial though. Good if you're metric. Um, I have a Tombow mono correction tape. Um, I specifically get the one that is blue because it's six millimeters. Um, I don't need to do this anymore because I don't use the planner that I used to use. I used to use um, an Erin Condren planner, don't use it anymore after everything that happened this year. Um, but I used to always get the blue one because it's six millimeters wide and that six millimeters is the width of the like header boxes, but not important anymore so I can get a cheaper one. <laughs> um, I have just a pair of scissors. These are actually embroidery scissors, but they're dinky, they're cute, so I keep them in there. I have a Tombow Mono Zero eraser. It's just a little clicky eraser. Um, and it has quite a fine point so you can get into small corners and things. I have um, the pencil lead that goes with my Kaweco Special. Um, it came in this little glass container with the little cork on the end which I just thought was so cute so I keep it in there. 
And then finally, I have a little paper clip, and this one is in the shape of a squirrel. And these ones are by Midori. So that's everything that is in my um, pencil case. I'm just going to put it all back in so that you can see. I'm going to put the Tombows in at the bottom. So this is sort of what I do. I put some bits in at the very bottom um, and then I put the Tombows sort of next and then the other pens on top and it nicely just zips closed. So that's my pen case. It's by, like I said, it's by Galen Leather. I will link it down below. Um, and it is, it's incredible quality. Um, it is slightly more expensive for a pencil case. Um, not really for a leather pencil case though. Leather pencil cases do tend to be more expensive. Um, so, and I just, I know that this is going to like age with me. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Um, I will pop any information that I can in the box down below and I'll hopefully be back next week with a new video.